7.50 KTRS. Well, there are reports that gun sales are through the roof. We're going to go to our gun guy because, well, quite frankly, he's the best. He's also the host of uh, Target Talk on Sunday nights here on the Big 550 KTRS. Steve King, you are the owner of Metro Shooting Supplies, Belleville and Bridgeton. Welcome to KTRS here in St. Louis. Good morning, McGraw. Hi, Kelly. Hi there. How you doing, Steve? So, Steve, Good. before we get to the uh, gun sales from the last week, I thought that gun sales were already brisk and were doing fine before this uh, latest incident. Yeah, you know, we've had uh, two good years of gun sales, uh, unprecedented gun sales, but the market has kind of uh, gotten soft since uh, March of this year. Uh, people have kind of lost uh, interest a little bit because of the economy and uh, the price of ammunition. But uh, the last couple of days, uh, it's been a different buying spree. The first two years was in fear that they were going to lose their firearms. The last two days, it was in fear that they were going to lose their life. Let's get. To, I, I want to get to what's going on here in a second, but uh, I want to stay on um, ammo for a second. Sure. From what I'm hearing is that you can't find ammo anywhere and that there's people have been hoarding ammo for years. Yeah, the last couple of years, the ammunition supplies have been a little tough to get. Uh, I'm very fortunate and very proud to say we've never run out of anything at either one of our stores, but we do. Uh, we have to put limitations on the number of boxes of ammunition people can buy just so that one person who has uh, deep pockets can't come in, buy the entire batch, and then go out and sell it on the secondary market. Yeah. All right, Steve King, what have you seen in the last two days at your stores? Well, quite frankly, it's been um, a different type of buying, McGraw. It's been people that have been coming in. Uh, folks have been um, putting off buying guns maybe for years, and now they feel the, the need to do it because of the violence in their neighborhoods. Um, unfortunately, the, the customers that we're seeing the last two days are not people buying guns for joy or to go out and sh target shoot or hunt. These are people that are coming in, and they've got fear in their eyes. They've got sorrow in their hearts. They've, uh, they're, they're really worried, and they're buying firearms to defend themselves and their families, and it's a whole different atmosphere than we've been experiencing over the last couple of years. Is it men, more men, or more women? Uh, you know what? I'm going to tell you it's about equal. We've had a lot of single mothers come in buying guns because they're afraid they're in their home with their children, and they're afraid. Um, we've had a lot of men come in, of course, that want to protect their families. We've had a lot of business owners come in and, and say, you know what, I'm going to have a gun in my business for the first time, uh, ever and uh, they're buying guns to protect their businesses after seeing them being looted and, and destroyed. Are you seeing black or white? I'm seeing everything: black, white, Asian, uh, men, women, young, old. Uh, you know, with the, one of the most touching stories was an elderly black man that came into our store um, Monday and he bought a shotgun and a handgun and he said, "You know, I live in Ferguson. This is embarrassing. All these little thugs running around." Uh, making us look bad. He said, I've lived here my entire life. I've never had any problems, and now I feel I have to buy a gun to protect myself. And he said, I'm not going to lose my home to these people. What are the rules to buying a gun? What, what, if somebody were to walk in and say, I'd like to buy a gun, what do you have to do, and, and how long do you have to wait? Well, that's a very good question. Um, in St. Louis, in, in Missouri, uh, you have to come in, you fill out a form, you have to have a proper identification, uh, showing your current address. You fill out a Form 4473, which is the federal background check form. You fill that out. We call you into the FBI. Uh, the FBI does an instant background check. If you pass that background check, you can take the firearm home immediately. If you do not pass the background check, which we've had four people yesterday who got delayed, meaning they have a common name or it's their first time buying a firearm or something, and the FBI can delay you uh, up to three days, uh, to per take that firearm home. So we did have four people yesterday that did get delayed. That does not mean that they're criminals. It just means they have a common name like Bill Smith or something, and they've got to do a further uh, background check. Is it you? Is if if you buying a gun for the first time, can they delay you for a couple of days? Yeah, if you've never bought a gun before, uh, quite frequently you get delayed just because you're not in the system. There's no record of you, and uh, you know if you came in and you were an avid hunter and you bought a gun every year or you bought a gun three or four times a year, you're in the system, they know who you are, they've done background checks on you, and uh, it's a little easier to get, get passed. What? Steve, are these uh, people who are buying the guns, are they mainly in the North County area or all throughout the St. Louis metro area? Yeah, Kelly, we've seen, um, you know, we're a neighborhood store, and we service North County primarily, and we've seen people from the entire North County uh, municipal area, uh, Bridgeton, 
uh, St. Anne, Ferguson, Florence, and Hazelwood, you name it. Uh, but we've also seen people from Richmond Heights, Clayton, uh, South County, South, uh, you know, Jefferson County. We've had St. Charles County come in because people work up here or they have businesses here and they're buying firearms for their businesses and uh, for the commute, to be quite frank. And uh, it's just, I can honestly tell you that when we see these people, uh, they've got fear in their eyes. They're, they, these people, 100% of the customers that we've had, and I'm speaking of the firearm buying customers, not the people using the range to shoot, but these people are coming in. This is not a recreational purchase. This is a uh, a purchase to defend themselves. And, um, you know, we've signed up. Um, we filled up our entire month of August uh, for private lessons for people wanting to learn how to shoot for the first time. And it, that's one of the things that we, you know, we do at our stores. We teach people how to shoot. And the private lessons have been um, – I mean, everybody's calling and trying to get in to learn, and that is very important. Stephen King, when this single mother buys, well, first of all, what do you recommend when somebody who has no experience with a gun walks into your store and says, I want a gun for protection, what do you recommend them to purchase? Well, we try to push them off a little bit, McGraw, to be quite frank with you. We, we don't want people without experience taking firearms home and being a danger to themselves or, or the community. So we try to recommend that they come in and take a lesson first and then purchase their firearm. I did have a case yesterday where a man and a woman came in. They were very afraid uh, of their for their life, and they said, we want to buy this firearm. We will not shoot it. As a matter of fact, we won't even load it uh, until we come in for our lesson. They did sign up for a lesson. They're coming in next week, each one of them, for a private lesson, and they are going to learn how to shoot the gun. Um, I personally loaded their magazines and their firearm. Uh, and put them in the box, and just in case there was a situation that they could not avoid, I showed them how to load the firearm, and, uh, you know, we gave them kind of a little mini lesson right there in the store just so they would be safe with it, and they said, we're going to leave the gun in the box, locked up, um, and we're not going to do anything unless we absolutely have to. So they're going to come in, they're going to learn. Uh, our lesson is one hour long, and after that one hour, you're a pretty, pretty good shooter, I mean, a very proficient shooter. And um, it's very amazing how just one hour can, can uh, help you out. Steve King, Metro Shooting Supplies in Belleville and in uh, Bridgeton. We're running out of time. i got a lot more questions. I might stop by and uh, say hi and see how things are going over there. Love you're, to have you. You're also the host of uh, Target Talk, 6 p.m. Sunday nights here on uh, KTRS. And, Steve, I know you always preach safety and um, education, and that's probably the most important thing about being a gun owner. Absolutely. Responsibility is, is key, and, it, and you have to be responsible when you have these firearms. You are responsible for every bullet that comes out of the end of that firearm. And if there is an accidental shooting or anything that happens, you know, once that trigger is pulled and that bullet leaves the gun, it can't be brought back in. You, there's no redo. And uh, that's very important, and we try to stress that with every one of our customers. Stephen King, Metro Shooting Supplies in uh, Belleville and in Bridgeton, also the host of Target Talk, 6 p.m. here on KTR. Steve, thanks for checking in.